In the name of God. My name is Sara Hatami. I want to present the improvements to the AI chatbot extension for LibreOffice. In this presentation, at first I provide an introduction to my AI chatbot extension and after that I discuss the initial release and the comments I received. The rest of my presentation is about the improvements in the new version and in the end I discuss future work. Introduction to AI Chatbot Extension The AI Assistant with ChatGPT is my open source GPL license extension for LibreOffice which is based on ChatGPT. I have released version 1 into 2023 and if you want to install and use it, you can refer to the LibreOffice extensions website to download and see the installation instructions. You need OpenAI API key to be able to run that. You can use the free trial for one or two months, but after that, you have to buy the service. This picture shows the a screenshot of the extension working inside LibreOffice, and this is the link that you use to download the extension. Initial release of AI chatbot extension was last year based on preliminary version of OpenAI Python library pre 1.0. And through that, I could able to demonstrate the capabilities of the extension to provide AI functionalities inside LibreOffice. Since then, there has been a lot of changes to this library and I will discuss about that a few minutes later. Some of the AI capabilities that was demonstrated were AI chat, text summarization, machine translation, image generation, text editing and improvement, and keyboard extraction. Received comments. After uploading the extension, I received a lot of comments about the extension. I can categorize the comments into these three categories. Installation, configuration, and requesting new features. In installation, most of the comments were around making the installation easier. Installation phase right now needs installing PIP OpenAI package and this is not always a straight forward. For configuration, 
people were mostly concerned about setting API keys. And from the requested new features providing custom prompts and at last some people could not use the extension because of some errors. Now I discuss some of the improvements in the new version. Upgrading OpenAI library. The initial release of the extension was based on pre 1.0 OpenAI library. Current version is 1.0. 51. So there were a lot of breaking changes since then. The AI extension is now compatible with the latest OpenAI library. The issues were mostly around changes in exception handling and naming in the library so you should be able to use the latest OpenAI library via PIP package manager storing and storing the settings the next improvement in this new version of the extension is around storing the configuration and the most important of the setting is the OpenAI API key. So now the extension is much easier to configure. The next improvement is around custom prompts. In the initial release, there were only fixed prompts which were predefined and set into the menu bar. The new version is configurable and custom prompt can be defined so that people can use the extension easily. Custom prompts. Custom prompts was an interesting requested feature. In the initial release, only fixed prompts were usable. Those prompts were predefined and set into the menus. In the new version, prompts are configurable custom prompts can be defined they are visible in the dynamic menus the implementation consists of three steps first storing the prompt which is done the same as the configuration. Second, it generates the custom prompt. And third, it becomes visible dynamically in the LibreOffice menu. This step needed more effort because previously menus were defined in an XML file named addons.xcu. Future work. For the next release, I want to expand to expand the extension and provide some new features and these are some of them 
handling text formatting, generating tables, generating formulas, supporting other applications including Calc. I hope you will like the new version of my extension which will be released shortly after the conference. Thank you very much. Now let's have a brief demo of the new version of the extension. As you can see, there are two new options. visible in the menus. First one, configuration, which is used to configure the extension and second one, translate to a custom language. These two options demonstrate the new capabilities of the extension. Let's have a look into the configuration dialog box. As you can see, there are various options available to the user to facilitate the use of extension. First one is the API key. As you know, OpenAI API key is required for using ChatGPT via its API. Here, user can easily paste the API key they obtained from OpenAI website. The second option is the language for translation. This language is used for translation based on a custom query. The language can be anything and we could even let the user use any custom query here. But for now, we, can, we ask them to only input a language name. And the two last options determine how the response will be displayed in the document as an inline text or as a comment. Let's see it in action. Okay, I close this dialog box and Execute the Python script from the ID that I used to divide the main Python script. Okay, now I hit the start button from the top to start the Python script. The default action is configuration. So that we see the configuration dialog. I can enter my API key. But for now I enter something random here. In the language for translation you can enter your language of your choice and I want to enter English here. OK. Now when I press OK, I see the message box that shows me that I have chosen 
English language. Another important thing here is that the menu item has changed dynamically into translate to English instead of showing three dots. This feature can be expanded to provide any custom title and a prompt for the extension. Okay, I don't have OpenAI API key at the moment, but I hope that I could be able to show you some of the new features of the AI chatbot extension for LibreOffice.